So the next segment we're going to be talking about is, is it hot upstairs? Uh, blame science and maybe your ductwork. You know, here we got a diagram that we're showing. 82 degrees on the second floor, 75 degrees on the first floor. All right. Obviously, warm air holds more moisture and rises. Well, it definitely yep. rises, right? It can feel much hotter upstairs, you know, that kind of thing. So you're adding to the load upstairs. It's also closer to the attic. So if you're on a half floor type construction, like, a, you know, that, that half story type construction, not only is the roof right above you, but that attic space is also on your on one of your walls or two of your walls, right? Yeah, you know, what can you do to mitigate that, right? What can you do to mitigate having 82 degrees and 75, you know, 82 upstairs and 75 downstairs? Well, I just want to comment. I mean, when I was in the field, in the area where I ran service in Missouri, it, it was huge back in that era. The majority of two-story homes that were single on-off, bang-on, bang-off systems, in other words, you know, single stage. The number of two-story homes with one system was enormous. More two-story homes only had one system. So, so yeah, you get the first floor comfortable. But that upstairs was never comfortable. Not in summertime, and then the exact opposite in the wintertime. I mean, the first floor was cold, but the second floor was burning up because you're trying to get the first floor to temperature because your heat rises. So uh, it, the first thing I say is, and I said it back then, I'll say it today, and, and I was more involved in traditional systems back then. The only way you're going to mitigate that is two systems. Right. Which the industry's gotten much better now where – you have the you have just a ton of different options. You can have one outdoor unit like we do with Multi Pro, and have two air handlers inside, one for the upstairs, one for the down. You can have since existing home, you don't have good ductwork going up there. You can do a Multi Pro system on the first floor and add wall mounts on the second floor, or a couple cassettes, or whatever. You could not do anything with the first floor and just do. Uh, single zone or multi zone many splits on the second floor. I mean, the the options are are endless. But the, what, in my opinion, and and Jesus, you just came from the field. You know, a lot of times they tried damper systems and stuff like that. I still found that that wasn't totally adequate. Doing zoning, trying to get that second floor comfortable. You still got one unit that's trying to do all that cooling. You know, your loads are completely different. So I was saying, uh, you know, I still remember going to a customer's house and they're like, you know, this side over here, you know, typically is always hot or always warm. And then you go into the crawl space if they even have one and you're, you're looking at 40, 50 feet of one duck just going over there to try and cool down the space. And it's just like, this is no way. So, you know, we really got to um, choose our equipment wisely. And especially with the selections that are out there, you know, with multi-pro and, you know, really separating that system that way we can get that, um, balanced point of cooling the first floor and the top floor you know efficiently a lot of times when i was in the field and ran into that of course i would just tell them you know kick the kick the fan on and uh circulate that fan you know just to keep that upstairs even with the downstairs and uh a lot of customers are like oh that solved it but um of course you know you're running that fan all the time and costing yourself energy there but well yeah. i mean that helps but yeah you're right it's not gonna solve it I mean, yeah. I, say what, I mean, just to nerd out a little bit, one of the reasons why I don't really care too much for the damper system in that regard is that, you know, if I've got a five-ton unit, I'm just distributing less air at this point. You know, I'm just, I'm still taking a five-ton five ton unit. unit. Still got a five-ton unit. You know, I so while it's running, I'm taking, you know, half that CFM or 40% of that CFM or 40% of that capacity and dumping it somewhere, Right. And, uh, but I'm still running a five ton unit. So, I mean, yeah, you can get better comfort maybe, um, you know, if it's all set up right and all that kind of stuff. Right. But is it going to save money? Right. Uh, I think all, all of us on the, on the kind of hosting this conference or this, this webinar are all in agreement that the best way to really zone, you know, completely one home, one business, whatever completely different loads in a building or a home or whatever, the best way to do it is, is, is zoning by refrigerant flow with a unit that can, that can modulate to the load. Exactly. Which is exactly what an inverter system does. Mm -hmm. You have multiple indoor units. You have an outdoor unit that can modulate to the load and the refrigerant flow only going to the heads that really need, that, to the 
that are under that high load. Any other way, you're just wasting a bunch of energy. Yeah, I mean, from a comfort standpoint, from a you know deliverable standpoint, it's like having two systems. Uh, but from a cost standpoint, it is almost always less expensive than two whole systems. Like from a total installation standpoint, it is. Oh, well, it'd definitely be cheaper than two whole systems. Yeah, I agree with well, that. Well, yeah, well, you know, and also don't forget that if you got two systems, you're also talking about two wire, two disconnects, two two everything, right? Yep. I mean, we're not, it's not just an equipment cost thing. Thanks for getting involved. If you need more answers, catch us live every month when we tackle your questions in real time. Head over to greedcomfort.com forward slash greed training where you can register for the next Talking Comfort Live. See you there.